What's your thoughts on, on the week that was for Joe Schmidt? Because he woke up to a, a literal headline on Thursday which said, Best and IRFU blame Schmidt, mm -hmm. which I'm sure was fun for him. So Rory Best was doing a day's media on Thursday and there are lengthy comments here. But for instance, he said, I think we started to become not dictated to, but we let Joe do everything. The great thing about 2018 was that we, the players, had our own voice and our own mind. There was a freedom there. You can't just turn up at the Aviva at five o'clock and say, right now it's our turn to lead. You can get a bit lost. I think in 2019, that end of the week space started to be filled a bit much with the coaches. Talks about too much detail, too much tension. Joe just needed to trust us. And then he also said he thought there was a bit of complacency in the camp. Mentioned the week in Portugal, said maybe we didn't work as hard. He said, I don't think we did the work that maybe we had done in the 24 months previous to that. And whenever you start to leave little bits undone, it will come back to haunt you when you least want them to. There, ha there has to have been a level of complacency. And again, too much detail, too much tension early on. This is on Schmidt. If I'd known something was happening, I'd have stood up and said it. Uh, you want to make sure no stone is left unturned, but sometimes by doing that, you end up spooding and feeding the players and he talked about a meeting the morning of the New Zealand game, which he felt didn't help. Now, whatever with the content, first of all, treachery is a strong word, <laughs> but I mean, I, uh, captain of the team to turn around and do that to, to the coach, could there, is that, should that be done internally? Well, the, the other thing is there, what he, how he's framing this is, um, when everything was going great in 2018 and we had, were all successful, it was all about the players, but um, in 2019, when things weren't bad, it was all about the coach. So. Uh, I don't think either of those things are true, actually. I think um, when you're in a, in a team like that and when you're a senior player like Rory and you have the voice that Rory has and has had for a number of years and you've got the support of the coach in, in Joe Schmidt, I would have expected a little bit more. Listen, we were, on this panel have been pointing out some of the things that we've thought have been gone wrong and that Joe has been um, should have improved on from, you know, from early 2019 all the way through. And that's not to say, you know, that that still remains the case. But I think, you know, there is a there is a real a feeling that um, you know, play, you know, Rory is trying to distance himself massively from mm. something that he was intrinsically linked with and, and part of. Now he says it was misconstrued slightly, I know. However, I mean it's very easy to say, look, we all died together, everybody did their best, we'll have an internal review. You can fob those questions off, misconstrued or otherwise, he certainly is experienced enough to know he left himself open to that. And so there mm. There are damning quotes, misconstrued or otherwise. I'm, I'm, I coach Rory and I, he's one of the best, if not the best captain I've ever worked with. And I, I really was shocked at those comments. And I can't imagine how hurt Joe Schmidt must be, who stood by Rory in a lot of thin times. Rory didn't play well for a long time and Joe stood by him. Mm. And I couldn't believe that. Now, if you're the captain and you have those feelings, you go and you tell your coach and your coach listens. I don't know anyone at the top level who doesn't get a captain, someone like Roy that's so uh, respected and is such a good leader, you come to you and say, listen, we need to run the captain's run. We need this. We think that. And if you don't listen to him, you're a fool. But to not tell him, to not front them, yeah. the players have got a responsibility in this. He says they did tell him after the England game at the Aviva, the warm-up game, but then in the World Cup, under the pressure, it reverted. Yeah, to, well, they got to yeah. front him up. You yeah. know, like, I, I think there's, and I agree with Shane, that it's, it, it's too often in these circumstances. Now, Joe's left. He's, he's the soft target. Well, the IRFU, David News 4, time against us. Uh, should we have developed our game further? This was in a briefing to journalists in their official review. Uh, potentially with the benefit of hindsight, yes. He says, uh, should we have armed our players with more tools? I think with the benefit of hindsight, we should have. And he said as well, we underestimated the intensity of what Japan were able to play at. That genuinely surprised us. If we had our time again, the focus would have been split more evenly. Again, and someone said to News 4 in this grand review, did you ever interview yourself? Or did anyone interview you? He said, no. It does look conveniently like, uh, uh, look, maybe it's right when you're the coach, but certainly this great coach for five years seems to have turned into a terrible coach in the final year. Yeah, and also, you know, just hanging around Joe's neck. I think, you know, it, 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 it's, it's quite distasteful, actually. If there was complacency in that Portuguese camp as well, that is something that the you know, players should Ooh, be on top of. I can't believe that, that in retrospect he would say that it's complacency. I don't understand how he, you know, Rory could let that if happen. You have complacency when you play in England in five yeah. days. And if it is, you know, there's responsibility there for everyone. Absolutely. And you know, the other thing that he, he hadn't critiqued is the fact that, you know, and I would critique Joe with this, that he kept some of his players on too long. And you know, in retrospect, or even at the time we said it, maybe Rory was one of those players. Okay. Yeah, it's heartbreaking stuff for Joe. You know, we criticise him and all that, but 
Should take an example from these boys in 2007 when they didn't. When they, no, when your World Cup didn't go well, they didn't come up and put their finger at Eddie. They 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 took it as a collective, and I, I admire them for it. That's because they're quality men. I think Rory should uh, just say we were all responsible. Mm.